Hi everybody, my name is Chris Composer. Welcome to episode number four. In episode number four, we're gonna connect a microphone directly to the CK61. Hi everybody, my name is Chris Composer. Welcome to episode number four. So in this episode, we're going to be looking at putting a microphone and running it through our keyboard and see how this works. The CK61 is capable of handling inputs either from a line kind of input or a selectable mono microphone input. My experiences of routing a microphone through the MODX and my experience so far putting through the CK61 has been spotty at best when the settings are default. Um, here we're going to be using Shure SM58, which is the workhorse of pretty much all bands and stuff used for everything from everything and everything for a long, long time. And they are notoriously low on gain, so you got to always boost them up a little bit, but they do sound great. Um, it's not my mic of choice, but for this particular video, we're going to be using this guy. So let's get started. All right, so we're here. We're looking at this SM58, and we're looking at this keyboard, the CK61. And now we're gonna kind of figure out what the heck we're gonna do. So if we look in the back, you will notice that we do have AD input set, set up, and we do have right, left, and we do have a little gain knob here. I'll talk about that guy after. Right now that gain knob, I set it to its maximum possible setting due to this guy right here. In fact, with any mic I've tried so far. So we're gonna be using this port right here. And to connect this mic, of course, I'm gonna be using a standard XLR to this guy right here. And we're gonna put it in right here now. Let's stick that guy right here. And we're gonna to try to keep things clear and clean around and get things ready. So let's set up that mic. Put that mic right here. And this is the kind of stand, by the way, this is a, uh, uh, ultimate support stand. They're not bad. They're okay. And um, there's a little mount here to actually screw in your little boom on it. The only problem with these little things is that when you're playing, uh, you will get the vibration from the stand, from your keyboard to the stand to this. But this might be another video because I use something else. I use something like this where it shocks the, the mic so you don't pick up the noise. But that's another video. If you guys wanna hear about that, I'll create a video for that. But for now, we're looking at experimental reasons, not performance at this point, where we're gonna use this. And I'm gonna use, try to try, let's put the mic on. There, ready to go. So let's try this out. I'm gonna put in some, I'm gonna put on some headphones so that I can, you know, get a better idea of the sound quality. So here we are. You're getting the uh, sound from the SM58 connected directly to the keyboard uh, without any uh, modifications, except for one thing. There is a gain um, selector in the back, which is very, very hard to reach. In fact, it's so hard to reach, you you gotta have like little fingers and kind of try to get to it. There's no knobs. It's more like a little stubby that comes out. So I turned it as much as I can. So let me show you where. So now the first thing I'm gonna do is is kind of compare the actual default audio, which basically is uh, maxed out. If I look at the settings, which we'll show you in a minute, it is maxed out. But if you look at the sound and my vocals in the background. Mm -hmm. 
La la la, check one two, check one two, check one two. So I want to get it to a point where it would be an acceptable methodology of using, you know, you take your keyboard somewhere, you do an open mic or something. So this would be set up in a certain way where you could take your keyboard to, let's say, an open mic or something, and you have a few minutes to set up, and you want the best possible sound, uh, your vocals, the best possible vocal sounds to come out. Because a lot of the times when you go to open mics, the microphone's dirty or, and it's not, it doesn't matter if it's dirty, but you know what I mean. And it's not adjusted properly. You can't hear yourself. And, you know, there's all sorts of things because they don't really, they care, but, you know, they just want to move on to all the people that are there. So if you set it up from your keyboard, the only thing you do is you show up, you set up your keyboard, you plug in your microphone, your favorite microphone into it. And then you basically say to the guy or gal that's doing the girl that's doing the, the mixing, you say, just give me two channels, pan left and right. And so that makes sure you tell them pan left and right, because sometimes they'll give you two mono channels, which will cause audio phasing, which is a real pain. So, yeah. Or if you want, just a mono channel. But in this case here, I like stereo. It's a good keyboard. <laughs> So what we're going to do next now, I'll show you how to set it up so that we get better quality sound. So now we're getting into the how to set stuff up here. So now you hear my audio. It's not too bad. Pass can see, testing one, two, three. It is behind there, but I'd like to get a little bit more out of it. So before we begin, one thing to keep in mind is that any settings that you make here for your microphone, is based on a specific patch. That's how Yamaha does it on all their keyboards, or in the MODX anyway. So what you gotta make sure is that you pick the sound you wanna use. So in this case here, I'm gonna use press precedence from the last video I made. So I'm gonna use this sound and I wanna add vocals to it. So when you get to that open mic or show that you're gonna do, um, you're going to select the patch and your audio settings for your microphone will be automatically set. So that includes, you know, special effects and so on and so forth. So now what you got to do is basically start modifying your sound. So I have a specific sound in mind to play with this, to sing with this song. And I like reverb, you know, a little more. So what I'm going to do is go to settings and I'm going to go right down to the AD input. Now, as I said before, by default, everything is maxed out, including uh, the gain over there. So what I'm going to do is take a look and show you that it's set to 127. That's default. It's the loudest it'll go. You can bring her down. You can bring her down, 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 bring her down get it louder and louder. And that's as loud as it goes. So for me, it wasn't good enough. And, there, and this is, is a, to me, is a problem. Um with having uh, a microphone come in, especially an SM58 type microphone that requires a little gain, more gain than usual. So I found a workaround until Yamaha figures something out. Um, is basically what I do is go into the input EQ and I'm gonna boost the, the gain myself in a different kind of way. So as you can see here, you have your high gain, mid, uh, mid gain, and low gain. I'm going to bring all these up just straight up. Think of it as a straight line on an equalizer and you're just boosting everything up. It, inc it would theoretically increase distortion specs, but in this case here, you'll see what I'm talking about. So here I'm going to bring it up. It's, it is zero dB. I'm going to bring it to plus 12 dB. You, you just hear it go up and then I'm going to go to the mid gain, do the same thing, bring it up. Now it's a little more, but we're going to fix that later. Right now it's just going to be, I'm just bringing everything equally to the top. And then I'm going to do final, the final one I'm going to do is the gain, the low gain, and we're going to bring it up. So now it's back to normal, but now we're louder. So if you're thinking, well, that's way too loud, it's okay. Because now I can go to volume 
and now bring it down to whatever I think is more acceptable. So the hopefully they'll fix this issue. To me, it's, this is an issue um, where there should be more flexibility in the game, uh, for sure. Yamaha is they make awesome mixers, they make awesome equipment, so I'm sure they could incorporate this in here and, and increase this. So I'm going to bring it as loud as I can. Check, 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 check. Check, check. We'll leave it like that. Whoa! See, it's too loud. Is it? It's distorting. Look at me out on the soul. So to me, it's pretty good. 109, 108. Okay. So now we've done this. We want to adjust the... Right now, it's pretty straight up. It's very SM58-ish. So I like adding a little more mid to my vocals. So what you're going to do is go back where you were. And you'll notice that there's high frequency, mid frequency, and low frequency. So this is weird because you, it's as if you can bring the gain on every frequency level, but then separately you can adjust the EQ. So I'm thinking, all right, I like that. So what I'm going to do is go into the, uh, the mid high frequency and bring it up just a little bit, just to give it a little edge. Check, 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 check. Well, I can't hear the difference for some reason. So I'm going to try then the, the mid gain, not the gain, sorry, the frequency. Check, 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 check. Oh, I like it. Oh, yeah, this is good. Whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Check, check, check. That's good. So we're going to keep it simple. So now I got I got a little bit of highs and a little bit of mids, even though I couldn't hear the highs very well. Not in so the world get me out on the soul. I'm thinking of the things to keep you on. All right, that kind of works. So now I want to add some effects so I can feel better about myself. <laughs> so um Believe it or not, they have two layers of effects on this, which is very impressive, which I find very impressive. It's amazing that they actually, they don't have the gain stuff, but they do have some DSPs and things. So I'm going to mess around with this. And then now you can look for the DSPs, or I'm sorry, the input effects. You can look at the type, the depth, and the rate, which is okay, I guess. Um... So I will go into the type first, and this is where it gets a little weird. So I'm assuming you could put maybe electric guitars in here or something. That's probably what they're thinking about. But for vocalists, it says, okay, right now it's set by default to through. And then you can select different sounds. As you can see, this is there's a lot of things that I think is for guitars and things. Like this one here. I don't think anybody's going to sing this way. Or this one. Look at me up. No, I don't think so. <laughs> H16 chorus. There's all these flangers. This for guitars. Cross if you flangers. So I'm going to spare you the pain. You can hear it too. So this is my... Uh, I find this one cool. The world can be out on the soul. It's very distorty. So, and you can add a compressor, which is very impressive. So you probably I could see you adding... Um, reverb to your vocals and maybe add a compressor so let's leave the compressor there just for fun i like that idea and i think um the depth check 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 i'll leave it the default i think i liked it better that way 64 and we're going to set up the rate which i'm not sure what that is but we'll find out. Check, 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 check one, two. Interesting. So I'll I'll bring it back to default. There. So now I'm gonna get out of here and go to effects two and look for um maybe adding some reverb or something. So here I'm gonna I'm gonna basically go into the type again for effects number two. And of course it's through. And I'm gonna quickly go okay now this is pretty bad but I like it so I'm going to fix it 
It's like you're in a pool or something or in a church. But anyways, you go back here and you adjust the depth. So basically it brings it all the way down. The depth is pretty much back to normal, nothing. So I'm just gonna add it to the point where I'm comfortable. Check, 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 one, two, check, check. I like it. And then I'm gonna go to the rate. Check, 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 check. I'm not even sure what this does. Check. I go to zero. Check. Oh, I see what it does. Okay, so check, 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 check. We're gonna go back to default. Mm -hmm. You can hear the noise that's being picked up by my. Well, get me out on the zone. I'm thinking of things. Oh, I'm being compressed to the point of return here. So I'm gonna go back to 64. What the heck? Let's keep it the default. I'm gonna go back to uh, the input effect number one where we put a compressor. I feel as if I'm being compressed to death here. The well can be check, check, check. The well can be out on the soul. I'm thinking of the things to keep you on. Okay, so we got, kind of works. Oh, it's very echoey all of a sudden. So let me go back to the effects one and fix that part. The well, check, 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 check. Oh, maybe it's in the depth. Hang on. So let's go to the rate. Check, 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 check. Yeah, we're going to bring it up a little bit. Check, check. The well can be out on the soul. That's better. In the volume, we're going to look at it again. Oh, there's a noise gate and everything. Huh. So, um, right now it's set to, to 108. I'm going to put it to 109 or 10, maybe. Well, get me out on the soul. I'm thinking of things to keep you on. Open the mind to a whole new amazing world. I'm resting into that life, can be all. So it kind of works. So, um, this is basically a tutorial on how to set that up, and it's not that bad. I'm hearing hissing though. So thank you for watching. We're going to move on to the next step now. go we're going to do the demo and um, with the processing done directly with the microphone going through the keyboard we're going to use the backtracks that we did on the, on the last videos and we're going to do I'm going to be playing live with the sound that we, we created customized and we're going to go from there so let's do it together Walking in the darkness, thinking of things that lead us, controlling our every move. Our destiny is moving us, increasing my will to go.
constraints in control That's how it's done. Cheers. All right. Well, <coughs> you got to love these wobbly bits. These wobbly, these wobbly beat, these wobbly. I can't talk. Wobbly seats, which is good for the back. But anyways, let's do the demo. This is the demo. This is the demo.